What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV and uh, another episode of Fishing for River Monsters. We're going to go out today, try to find some big fish, hopefully, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to go at it. Katie today. I'm actually going to go up the river, <clears throat> try to fish a few spots, try to find a few new spots, just try a few new areas, see if we can locate some big fish. Trying to find these big ones. Gotta keep on grinding it up. <laughs> Did you just go that one bite? Yeah. a monster. I'm talking a monster. Oh my <laughs> god, he came over the net. That's a good good sign. Oh my. That's my biggest one I've caught out here. What'd you do? Just retie this? I thought you were taking yes, it off. Yes, I retied right before I caught him. <laughs> oh my god, what a tank. That's crazy. I caught my... That's, god, that's, that's a fish right there. Here. God. Throw him in the lab. We'll get a picture later. Oh, yeah. I didn't think it was a bass. I was about to tell you to not get the net. Six pounds that's and then four pounds, that's ten and pounds. Probably what? That's ten pounds of three that's fish. Ten, yeah. Damn. That's the biggest fish I've caught in the river. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen on the river. So right before I caught that fish, by the way, that's why that's what this whole series is about. Searching for river, fishing for river monster. That's the biggest one I've caught in the river. That's my PB on the river. Guys, that was a tank of a fish. On this little crankbait, <clears throat> importance right here of retying. I literally, I pulled in my line the cast before that, and I looked at it and was afraid. I was like, you know what? It's worth a second. I stopped, cut it with my pliers, retied, threw in there, boom, caught that one. I promise you, if I didn't retie right there, that fish would have came off. I promise you. And that fish actually got unhooked in the net, so thank God she netted it good, but that's importance right there always retie if you ever have anything like if you just have a feeling just do it trust me <laughs> it'll be worth it another little guy i don't know why why these little guys just decided to bite today Got one monster and then catching some blue guys. All in this little crankbait though. I'm about to slow down. I'm about to slow down and start flipping though. And I'll show you guys some tips on that. Alright, I formed it up for you though. Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh my god, that's probably the same one that just bit me. Here, press your button a little bit. Did it break your uh, keeper hand or anything? That's a honker right there. That is a big one. I hate these things. Guys, I hate these things right here. That's what breaks me off all the time. I didn't know I could re retie. Yeah, you Talking in the like, like, God, it's a solid. This is the big one. This is so dopey. See, that's a little turf. It's a war mouth. That's what we have it. It's a war mouth. Okay. Hey, you're feisty. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to end it off. Not too much footage today, but I actually caught, you know, this, this is what the series is about is for me to catch, you know, my personal best on the river and keep catching bigger ones. And that one today was a good solid fish. You know, that was the biggest one I've caught on the river so far. So that's, that's great. Um, you know, we tried a few techniques. We tried, <clears throat> I caught most of the fish on the crankbait and then we switched to like a Texas rig, started flipping around, even switched to a buzzbait, caught a few on that as well. And I just went around, had a good time for a few couple of hours. So uh, there's going to be a lot more of these episodes. Let me know if you guys are going to like uh, Fishing for River Monsters, this series. Leave a comment below. Leave a like on the video, please. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But I'll catch you guys at the next video.